Do they have treatments for your stress that really work? Acupuncturist Jill Blakeway is here with cutting edge therapy that can help you relax for good. We're talking about acupuncture beads. So how do acupuncture beads help you reduce stress? Well, acupuncture beads, Doctor, are part of acu um, uh, ear acupuncture. Mm -hmm. And ear acupuncture is based on the principle that your ear is a microsystem representing your whole body. And you're right, they really can help you reduce stress. There was a study at Yale Medical School that looked at women whose children were going through surgery. Those women got um, ear acupuncture half an hour before their children went into surgery, and they had measurably less anxiety, and their children had measurably less anxiety going into surgery which is interesting, I yeah, think. That's wonderful. And what I do in my clinic is I do ear acupuncture actually in the clinic, and then I do the beads afterwards to kind of extend the treatment over time, uh, and the patients leave with the beads in. And those beads have become pretty famous, I think, recently. They have? have? You, have you, yes. Have you seen, um, there was a paparazzi picture of Penelope Cruz as she was at a, a film premiere. Oh, yes, look at that. that. Yes, I see yes. it. And she had all these beads in, and people thought it was exotic, new, fashionable ear jewelry, yes. but it's actually ancient Chinese stress relief. I love it. All right. Here, come Show everybody on this ear model what well, areas you target. This actually was a very similar thing to what Penelope Cruz had in her ear, and I do these two points all the time in my clinic. This is Shen Men, it means calm the mind, and this is sympathetic, and it deals with your fight or flight mm -hmm. response. So those are really a, a, a very good combination. This is kidney, and kidney gives you a little energy boost. Stress is very deflating and depleting. Kidney gives you a little lift. This is point zero. It's very centering. I do it to keep people, you know, in their center. And this is heart, which relieves anxiety. So why is use of beads a more impactful way to help folks than the old-fashioned acupuncture, which I've always thought was the gold standard? Well, uh, acupuncture is, in, in some ways, the gold standard. But what my patients love about the beads is that they can take them with them when they leave. So I do the needles first, then I put the beads in, and it's like 24-7 acupuncture, and it keeps the treatment going. And if you think of something like stress, which is ongoing, right. then 24-7 acupuncture makes sense. All right, so we've got a victim here for you. We Kelly do. from our audience volunteered, not knowing what she was getting into. Are you nervous, Kelly? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm totally nervous. Have I'm you had Kelly. acupuncture before? I have. I, I use it for just general health and well-being, actually. All right, so that, that part won't surprise you. So we're going to have Jill do a t tiny bit of acupuncture to, to prepare you. Okay. And then we're going to actually apply the beads. I want everyone to understand what these beads are like, how small they are, how they get applied and the like. So it's Jill, walk us through tiny. it. Tiny. Let me do the acupuncture first. I have to put my glasses on to do Should this. I hold Kelly down or just no, hold her hands? she's going to be just fine, is Kelly. These actually don't hurt as much as you think they're going to. People are always really worried about them, but they're tiny little needles. That is Shen Men which is what we talked about. Oh, yes. Isn't that, feel like, yeah, yes. you didn't feel that much. No, no, no just, they're tiny. Yes, and I'm going to do sympathetic, because that's actually a hard one to get an ear bead in, because it's right tucked up. Do you want here. me to do one for you, Kelly? <laughs> OK. Scary. <laughs> you see, you're brave. <laughs> right, there you are. I've got two of them in there now. All right, now, how about the beads? Now, the beads are these tiny, tiny little beads. And um, the beads are on the other side. What you're looking at now is a little tiny Band-Aid, and that sticks the bead to the ear. And let me see the beads. The beads look like that. They're little gold beads, look. So once they're placed on the skin with the band-aid on top of it, then you just press on to the bead? Then the bead stimulates the point, yes, when you press it. And I'm going to put a couple in Kelly's ear. Thank you. So how do you look? You, know, you have tweezers? You I have, have tweezers for them, yes, because they're really very fiddly. This is why I need my glasses. They're really hard to see, actually. That. Now turn your ear to, to head to me. Where, where is it? It's right there on heart. Oh my goodness, so small. Yeah. It's like your little secret. I love it. And then what we do is we teach the patient. Let me take your could finger. You just, could okay. you just point out where it is just so we can yeah. all see it? With you with it's your right. tweezers? It's right. That's my, my ear probe. It's right in there. So you only put them on the inside of the ear. You don't put them on the outside? You can put them on the outside. There's a point here for hunger that we sometimes do for people on diet. If you don't mind, put one there. Yeah. Just, yeah, you, do you Let ever get too that. hungry? I'd be delighted to have one yes, there. Thank you. I thought you, you might. <laughs> I think it's a little, little value add from the Dr. Oz show. Wonderful, thank Anything you. Anything for our patients. So this is a point for hunger, and we do this point for people who are on diets. We use this treatment for all sorts of things. In my clinic, we use it for fertility. There's a very f famous program in the Bronx that's been going for 30 years at Lincoln Hospital that uses it for addictions. Oh, so the bead is touching the skin. Yes. You just have a tape on top of it. And the tape's on top. Oh, I see that. Are you hungry? No, I feel see? fine, thank it you. Worked. <laughs> just it worked. It worked, folks. You just press it. How quickly uh, do, you, do you see results with these different beads? The, the, the results are, you know, the effect's kind of subtle, but immediately what we do is we take Kelly's finger and we teach her to press it when she feels hungry in this case. Oh, I and see. And it just takes the edge off. 
or for the stress point, she pressed it. Or for the stress it. point, she press it and, yeah. you know, and it she lasts about a week? Um, they stay on. It depends how, how much you scrub your ears, okay. actually. Okay. They stay on for about two to four days, something like that. Okay, and he has to find a licensed acupuncturist, obviously, folks. Just don't have this done by the person at the, you know, at the end of the street somewhere. And what does it cost, roughly? Um, acupuncture is usually part of an acupuncture treatment, and acupuncture varies geographically, but it's from $50 upwards, something like that.